Yo, what up YouTube? Before I get into this Call of Duty over here, I actually wanted to talk about a recent purchase I made for PSA, Metal State Armory, um, with my, my PSA dagger. This is the compact. Uh, I'm waiting for the micro compact, but uh, recently they had a sale. They always have sales on holidays, and I got the frame for the compact for 50 bucks. I got the slide for about, I think, uh, what was it like 189 or like 210 or something like that and I, and I got it sent over to uh, Nexus shooting that's where I do my my shooting that's where I send all my my firearms from Palmetto State it uh, basically has that state-of-the-art uh, virtual targeting practice stuff but apart from that <clears throat> my main focus is my PSA dagger now I hear a lot of talk and a lot of people are just talking craziness when it comes to the dagger when it comes to PSA in general now my first AR-15 build was from PSA I built a uh, AR-15 um, for less than I think $430 right or $450 and, and it runs perfectly normal for me it runs fine I love it uh, a lot of people say it doesn't look the prettiest that's fine it gets the job done now um, I wanted to see what the hype or the the hate was about when it came to the PSA dagger. Now, my PSA dagger happens to be a black frame and a sniper green slide, and it happens to have a gold threaded barrel with uh, suppressor height sights. Now, I love this gun. I'm just gonna cut to the front about this. I'm just gonna cut to the chase and kind of jump the gun here. No pun intended. I shot this, um, put a couple hundred rounds to it, and it, was flawless. Flawless victory. I ended up getting or being cheap and I got some PMAGs, which uh, PSA does happen to sell these PMAGs with them. So I was cheap and I happened to get some PMAGs. Basically these uh, can work with the Glock 19 or my Glock 19 OEM mags could fit in the PSA dagger. PMAGs were about $15 a pop versus almost 30 for the Glock OEM ones. And again, they work perfectly fine. They are lightweight, they feel a little cheap, right? So that's fine here, by, by the way. We are clear. So as I was saying, um, I love the gun. A lot of people actually commented about how the gun looks. It looks great, it looks awesome, it's nice, it's, it's blah blah blah. Um, the functionality of the gun is whatever, it feels good in your hand, but then they get to talking about PSA and how cheap PSA is. And the thing I, I like about PSA is the affordability. Not cheap, but they're affordable. The fact of the matter is if you want to call this a Glock clone, which it is, it's a it's a Gen 3 clone. That's that's it is what it is, and that's fine. But it feels great. My Glock 19 uh, Gen 4, it feels great in my hand. But this just, it just fits a lot better. It just, you get a grip on it. What do you mean by that? And it just feels, it, it, it just, I don't know, it, it works. And, you know, obviously I posted some videos and, I, and everything like that, but everyone has something to say about the gun, right? That, um, you know, Palmetto State is cheap or... Um, hey, you know it's nice, but guess what? That trigger, man, it's 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 garbage. Which 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 I kind of somewhat understand where it's coming from. All right, the reset's not bad. But it's like really squishy, right? It's just a lot of room, and then the break is crisp, but. It reminds me of my Smith & Wesson MM, MMP uh, Gen 1, it's trigger, and I was used to that trigger, so I really had no issue with it. But let's get into this gun, we're not talking about other guns. First and foremost, for the price, flawless. I think it's great, right? You can get this gun, sub $450, uh, obviously through PSA, and then they send that over to your, um, your preferred licensed dealer. Um, you can build it or in a sense you can buy the frame, buy the barrel, and then buy the, uh, the slide and then put it together. Uh, the good thing about this is that the compact 
and the full size, which I've also ordered full size frame, fits the, the slide fits on both. So I'm going to actually convert this into an everyday carry. Uh, at first I didn't want to because it was a PSA and I heard so much bullshit about it. But the confidence that I have in this gun, how it fell in my hand, how I shot it and it felt awesome. I'm going to make this into one of my EDCs. I'm going to change out the, the slide. I'm probably going to put a two-tone with stainless. So stainless might either have the chameleon um, uh, barrel or a black barrel. And I'm going to take this and put this on the full size, which would then basically, instead of taking Glock 19 mags, the full size takes Glock 17 mags. And um, that would be somewhat of a more of a range gun or a competition gun. But back to this dagger. Now, um, looks off rip, it looks great, right? My Glock 19 is a basic Glock. I've posted videos and everyone's like, oh, well, just a boring Glock. It's, you have no you have no sights on there. You don't have a light on there. You don't have anything on there. It is what it is, it's my gun. The fact of the matter is, if you don't like how my gun is, great, buy me one. Guess what, I'll do whatever you want with it. But at the time, or at this time, if it's my firearm, I do as I please. If I leave it OEM, I leave it stock, that's what I like to do. But with this, sub 450, Obviously the frame is what it is. Trigger, I am gonna change it eventually, but not for this one. This one I'm gonna leave it for now. The full size, the one that I'm gonna make my range, and I'm gonna change that to a uh, more of a competition trigger. Um, but what I like about this is that you can see it's more of a for show type of deal, right? You see that gold threaded barrel. Well, why do you have a threaded barrel? Because I'm gonna add a comp to it. When I get this and make this an EDC, I'm not gonna have the threaded barrel. I'm just gonna basically have it just sit flush or just sit flat. But this gun for the price, I I, I think it's fine, right? I didn't at first also the uh, the sights itself. I thought that I was gonna have a problem with suppressor height sights because there was no. I'm so you see that U from the Glock and the dot with the two dots and and of course to kind of see it in between the iron sights. But I shot it flawless. I shot it great. I shot amazing. And. What I like the fact about the dagger is if you want a Glock, you can basically have one for sub $400. Now a lot of people are gonna say, well, hey, you know, it's a Glock clone, blah, 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 it's not as good. Y'all already hate Glocks. If you hate Glocks, guess what? I couldn't give two shits. You hate Glocks, you're gonna hate this. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, for the price that you get, you can go get a Taurus G2C, a Taurus uh, G3C. Um, you can do whatever you want in the terms of purchasing your firearm. But for me, I like the PSA dagger. I'm getting the full size dagger and I'm gonna wait to get the micro. And when I have all three, I'm gonna make a video and show them. But at the end of the day, man, get what you feel comfortable with. It is an affordable price, sub $400. You get a gun that has a great frame, great, great slide, great barrel, which you can also add a suppressor, you can add a comp to it. Doesn't look boring or basic. It also does come where you can actually mount the red dot on it, right? My Glock 19 doesn't have that. I have to go ahead and get that shit uh, filed down and then be able to add it, but this came with it. And again, I paid a fraction of the cost. And if I wanted to get a better deal, I can wait. The PSA runs a deal where they're selling this in 10 mags, a bag, for like $400. You're not getting 10 mags from a Glock, you're getting two. Granted, I, I do think that I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, original Glock mags and use it for my everyday carry. Uh, but as for like range time, this is not bad. $15, you get these any day. Like I said, I'm gonna run back down the list of why I say why this is great. Um, price, affordable, great. It feels amazing. Right, I don't, I don't necessarily see having an issue um, finding holsters for it. Why? Because it's basically a Glock clone, right? If you like Glock or you want one, here you go. If you don't like Glock and you don't want one, don't get it. But like I said, this slide being interchangeable, being able to move it from the compact to the full, you have so much options in which you can go ahead and, and add to this gun as time goes on, right? So I'm, I'm gonna change the trigger. That's gonna happen, right? This trigger. I wouldn't say it's horrible. It's it, it's doable. It does it does what it needs to do. It, it fires. I'm gonna add a magwell because I'm not really a fan of this little thing right here. I mean, I get what it's for, right? A lot of uh, uh, firearms do. I'm gonna probably get a better view of it. But it's if the mag gets stuck, you can pull it out. Right? There's a big gap, which some people complain about. I don't have a problem with. Like, look, it, it, there's nothing wrong. You take it out, put it right in. Take it out, put it right in. Pause. But. I, I, I don't know, a lot of people just wanna find things to complain about and that's what I realize nowadays. People are gonna see something, see a platform, see a game, see a car, any type of 
um, community that you're in, people don't care to like things anymore. They care to critique it. They just want to sit here and tell you, oh, I don't like it, or I got something better. At the end of the day, it's your money. You do what you want to do with it. Now, the negatives that I think about this guy, like I said, the trigger, the trigger is negative, but I'm used to this because my original or my first gun, the MMP Shield, had this type of trigger. And for me, it's not a big issue. You'll learn to work with it. This is a stock gun OEM. This is technically, in a sense, OEM because this is what I never touched it yet, right? Although I do have a different slide compared to a regular block slide. Um, I can change the trigger. So, so, okay, I changed the trigger. What's bad about the gun at this point? It's a Glock clone because you don't like Glocks? Man, shut the hell up. Seriously. Oh, you don't like this little bottom piece? Guess what? There's a piece that you can go ahead and get a magwell added to the bottom. Add a magwell. So, what's the next issue? My main concern, my main issue is the fact that the mag release is a little hard. You gotta press the hell out of it. I can't get it. But I'm gonna go ahead and change that too. If I can change the mag release to probably uh, a uh, Glock uh, third gen or uh, gen three, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But look, honestly, for the price, sub 450, sub 400, this right here, is it. I'm adding a comp to this. I'm gonna go ahead and add a Hollison to the, to the, as the red dot. I'm gonna add my, add my magwell. I'm gonna change the trigger. I'm gonna change the mag release. And that's it. I'm set. I have that perfect setup. Sub 700, sub 800, or whatever the hell prices y'all are spending on it. Yeah, y'all wanna talk about quality, but PSA is selling direct to consumer. Right, Glock has to sell through a licensed, deep, uh, licensed dealer and all that good stuff. Hence why the price is up. Right, cost of materials are up, I get it. So right now, if all I can afford is a PSA firearm, I'm doing it. I'm getting a dagger. Like I said, I like this so much, I got another one. There's no problem. There's no issues with it. I haven't had this thing jam knock on the wood the same way. But I haven't had a jam, I haven't had any issues, so what's the real hate with it? And I don't know, man, y'all just wanna bitch, keep bitching. Look, if you like what you heard, I was rambling, but I'm just talking about how passionate I am about this PSA back. I say get it. I say get it. If you want it, get it. What's the harm? It's $400. You can get you can get a black frame. You can get a FDE FDE frame. You can get an orange frame, a pink frame, a blue frame. My friend just built his. He had a blue frame with a, with a uh, stainless steel uh, slide, and I'm I'm hella jealous because I want it. But I went black with sniper green slide. You can go you can go FDE with a black slide. You can go uh, green with a black slide. It, it it doesn't matter. The options are, are are limitless in a sense, right? And over time. If you want to go ahead and graduate to quality, sure, go by all means do it, man. But some of these guns out here, for example, you have um, uh, Glock Zebs and you have you have uh, Shadow Industries or whatever the hell they're called. They're basically taking Glocks and they're upgrading them and then they're selling them to you for ridiculous amounts of money when you could buy a dagger and do the same exact thing. Now look, I'm new to this gun community, gun tube, but I've been into firearms for years. And I just had firearms for the sense of safety. I had firearms for just, hey, protect my life. I never really had the firearm for the look, for the feel, for the competition, for the for the one up, the uh, the whatever. But now I do. I would like to build this. I've played so many Call of Duty games where I started with some boring ass uh, pistol, a boring ass uh, primary fire uh, firearm. And then as time goes on, I've unlocked more. I've added uh, attachments to it, and it's better. Again, I'm not saying this is. Life is a game when it comes to this stuff, but that's that's the way I see it, right? I'm gonna have a home defense gun, and that home defense gun is gonna be plain Jane. It has not gonna have a different trigger because if I change the trigger, there's a less less of a chance of it being more or not effective, but more, being more reliable, right? The factory made it the way that it is to be more reliable. So who am I to change something that they knew works better? I might have a less chance of my trigger working. And uh, yeah, it may be a little bit better with a little break. It may be a little better with less pounds needed to pull to squeeze the trigger. But at the end of the day, if I install it or I do something wrong and it doesn't fire, 
and happens to be in a situation where I need to save my life, I have a problem with that. So again, if it's effective, it's a, if it's efficient, if it's reliable, get it. If you wanna jump up next, go ahead and get the, the clock. Then get a SIG, get a Smith & Wesson, get whatever you want. I, I, I don't know, I'm just a guy with a camera that likes guns and video games and cars and shit. So basically, I'm like your damn, your homeboy that you don't know, your best friend that you don't know, but we can be, right? So um, do me a favor, like, Share this, comment, subscribe. Let me know if there's anything I could do to make this better, right? You see the Christmas tree in the back. My daughter uh, is at daycare right now. My wife is getting her nails done, so it's quiet. I can make a video. I'm going to make videos when they're around, and you can see the difference of how quiet it is versus how not quiet it is. So, um, yeah, let me, go, let me go put some work in, in this game, and, uh, and y'all do your thing.